It is so futuristic, it can claim the DeLorean's Back to the Future car as its half-brother. Ulang, 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 ulang. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Build by Apes. And today we are gonna dive deep into the world of MPV class vehicles. Here in Build by Apes, we love ourselves the low or compact MPV vehicles. In fact, we have one for ourselves, this Honda BRV, and it is good for hauling goods and transporting people. But today we're not going to talk about this. We are going to talk about the newcomer in Indonesia's MPV market. This particular car comes out into the world with a futuristic slap on the face to its competitors. And it is so futuristic looking, it can claim the DeLoreans back into the future as its half-brother. This is the new 2022 Hyundai Stargazer. This is the new 2022 Hyundai Stargazer. It is an absolute rising star in the seven-seater family MPV vehicle class. And it is specifically designed for Indonesians. First introduced in 15 July of 2022, when the first units rolled off its factory in Cikarang. And this car took the Gias 2022 by storm. A lot of people excitedly waiting for its launch and they want to try it out for themselves. While this car is already available here in Indonesia, it will be released in India and Philippines market around 2023, hopefully. Now, we already have a lot of MPV cars to choose from the market. Some of them are more reliable, some of them are better looking than the others, and some of them are more practical. Do we really need another one? And will this new contender takes on the likes of Toyota Velos or the Daihatsu Senia its twin or the Suzuki XL7, the Mitsubishi Expander or the one I have behind me, the Honda BRV, where the seven-seaters MPV family vehicle class is very popular in Southeast Asia region. So let's see what this car has to offer. First off, for the Indonesian market, the Stargazer is available in four different trims. The first one is active, and then trend, and then the style, and the prime, which is what we have here, is the most expensive of all choices. They are also available in six color options, and those are Midnight Black Pearl, the Creamy White Pearl, Magnetic Silver Metallic, Titan Gray Metallic, Dragon Red Pearl, and Mangrove Brown Pearl. And personally, I like the Creamy White Pearl the best, but the one we have here is the Midnight Black Pearl. Hyundai promotes the convenience of this car by providing more than 30 storage compartments that includes cup holders, hidden trays, back seat pockets, the glove box, center console, and many more. The security features are also decent, which consist of the lane keeping assist and the forward collision avoidance assist and many more. Enough of me blabbering on about and hindering you guys from seeing the actual car. Let's dive right into it. The Hyundai Stargazer is powered by a Smart Stream G 1.5 liter naturally spirited four cylinder engine that produces 115 brake horsepower and around 144 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated with either a six speed manual or a Hyundai's IVT or intelligent variable transmission, which is the automatic version. I'm quite disappointed that it isn't powered by hopes and dreams like our future is supposed to, but well, Anyway, just kidding. Speaking of the future, the Stargazer has futuristic and dynamic styling. 
and it resembles a lot of cars from the Hyundai lineup. For instance, the front LED bar that spans the full width of the car took inspiration from its big brother, the all luxurious and expensive Hyundai Staria. If only they extend these front LED bars all around the car, then it can be the properly named Stargazer because it would be a UFO. Anyway, from the side view, we can see these beautiful lines and indentations that kind of resembles the Ionic 5 diagonal lines or the lines on Hyundai Elantra. The rear side features a full-length LED bar that connects the lamp from either side and forming that distinctive H shape that can be spotted from miles away. The taillight itself is triangular shape resembling its European market Hyundai Bayon. Hyundai also proudly displays the Hyundai logo here and its name, Stargazer. This car is also equipped with 15 or 16 inches alloy wheels, depending on the model you choose. And it is greatly highlighted by these squared shaped wheel arches. As for dimensions, the Stargazer measures in 4.460 mm long, 1.780 mm wide, and 1.695 mm tall, and has a wheelbase of 2.780 mm which falls neatly into the size range of compact MPV. While from afar, the Stargazer silhouette might look like any other MPV cars in the market, a closer look might reveal its sweet spots, such as this roof line that continues from the A-pillar way up to the roof and then shot down through this D-pillar and forming this sharp hourglass look. And this configuration gives the Stargazer its floating roof effect, which is pretty marvelous to look at. While we're still in the topic of Marvelous, I'm just gonna jump into the car, lay it back, and hopefully I can see the Marvelous starry skies. There's no sunroof or moonroof. How can I stargaze in this car? It makes me wonder why this car is even called Stargazer. Maybe we'll find about that later. Now, the first reaction of being inside the Stargazer. The interior is not as futuristic as its exterior. While it is still nice and elegant with all the color, shape, and configurations, I was hoping to see a wide screen full of gizmos like the one they had on Ionic 5. Even so, I suppose this is enough for family car needs. Looking straight into the dash, it is equipped with full digital cluster. When you can see quite a lot, there's the speedo and the RPM, also indicators for security features and much more. For the entertainment, you get an 8-inch display audio with smartphone connectivity, wireless smartphone charger, and other high-tech stuff. The thing is, why have all this old-school setup of buttons and rotatable knobs in this highly futuristic-looking car? It's almost like the small things get left behind and the exterior get a futuristic update. Well, if it works, it works, I guess. Anyway, Inside, the Stargazer can have six or seven seat configurations, depending on the model or range in three rows, with the middle row being a captain seat in the six seat model. Cargo space is 200 liter behind the third row or 585 liter behind the second row. All the rear seats can be laid flat to give the ultimate space for hauling cargos. We can also see plenty of cup holders and armrests and tables mounted on the seat backs. Remember when I told you guys that this thing have more than 30 compartment storage? We're gonna try and look at every single one of them. Let's count. And that is 30 storage compartments. Wow, that is a lot and it's quite a good feature. Honestly, this is a feature I never knew I needed. More storage for one's knee. This is getting dark and it's started to rain, and I have to be on my way to return this bad boy to its owner. I will continue it on the way and tell you guys what I think.
depending on which cream you choose, there is the active trend um, style and prime. This car can include the Hyundai Smart Sense ADA SUV, like the lane keeping assist, the front collision avoidance assistance, the rear traffic assistance, and cruise control, and also blind spot collision assist. And I'm gonna try it for a while now, so you guys can see how it works. First thing is you can control your systems from the right side of the steering wheel. There's buttons here for lane keeping, the display controls, and also the cruise control selection. I'm gonna engage the lane keeping assist now. Ah. The thing is, with lane keeping assist, this is not an autopilot, so you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel or the car will remind you to keep your hands on the steering wheel. This lane keeping assist is different from the BRV that I use daily. This car can engage the lane keeping assist from slow speeds from the get-go, different from the BRV where it can only activate it upwards of 60 or 70 km per hour. Next is front collision. Um, I'm pretty scared to try it out, but earlier we have a notifications if you are late in braking or you're too close to the vehicle in front of you. The cruise control is pretty decent. This is not the adaptive cruise control, so you have to set it up and be aware when to brake or, or when to disengage the system. The minimum speed for the cruise control is 30 km per hour, which is also lower than the BRV. The next one is the blind spot. I think this is engaged when there's fecal in your blind spots and when you are changing lanes because numerous times when I'm about to change the lanes and there's vehicle coming up, you have the beeping notifications and telling me that there's a car on the next lane. Now, about the driving experience. I mean, this car is comfortable. Yeah, it's nice. The steering feels light and responsive. There are driving modes such as the Eco, the Smart, the Sport, and Normal mode, which all is very different feeling when driving. For example, the Eco and the Sport is different in terms of throttle response, etc. and the fuel consumptions also, but it's not that significant. The suspensions feel soft, it's not bouncy like other cars in its class. Some of them have the rather bouncy suspension. The space inside is very spacious actually. There's a lot of headroom thanks to that curved roof design. Seating position feels pretty nice. I am 175 centimeters in height and I can fit here quite nicely. And all the controls are pretty straightforward like what you see the left side of the steering wheel is the buttons for controlling your entertainment system. And the entertainment system itself is pretty straightforward in setting it up. The steering wheel features the telescopic adjustable steering wheel so it can move up and down and front and back to adjust to your perfect seating position. There is one cool feature in this car that I haven't seen in other cars, which is this button right here, the SOS button. Turns out this car is equipped with this button and when you press it, you can talk to the operators. If you are in emergency situation, they can help you. I'm not gonna press it now because I don't know what will happen, but hearing the story from the owner, I mean, it's okay if you press it. They're just gonna ask you and confirm your identity that you are the registered person that driving this vehicle and then ask you what they can help you with and if your problem is resolved then it's good that feature is quite phenomenal i think and we don't have that in other cars so that's very good a good point for hyundai then in your what's going on <laughs> oh, sorry guys there's traffic jam up ahead all right back to the lane keeping assist the lane keeping assist is harder than let's say the BRV in keeping your line straight. In the BRV, I can swerve a little in inside the lane and it wouldn't correct me. But in the Stargazer, the lane keeping assist is rather hard, so it's better at keeping you in the right lane. I 
I might say. Now, unfortunately, we are stuck in a traffic jam, which is the less fun part of the job. But that's actually good for you viewers, because now we can know and feel how the car, the Stargazer, responds in a traffic jam. The first reaction is in normal mode, while stuck in a traffic jam, the gas is smooth. So your, your car doesn't feel jumpy or whatsoever when you're constantly braking and going again. That's a good side. And the lane keeping assist is actually helping you because it activates in low speeds. So that's very good in keeping you straight. Another thing is you don't want to use the sports mode in traffic jams because the sports mode makes the throttle very responsive thus make your ride bumpy not bumpy but rough because the gas is too responsive and it'll end up making your car like this too jacky too jacky yes like it's jacking and you know you can spend the time in traffic jams trying out other stuff like settings and stuff because there's so much you can do here in the car like entertainment or looking at the screen whatever it's good the brake in this car is soft but it is good i mean like a while back there's a car in front of me that suddenly brakes while entering a tunnel i don't know why maybe that guy is sleepy or something but we managed to brake in time and the good thing is the front collision avoidance actually turned on and sent us uh, notifications there's a beep and there's the alarm but because the brake is so good i can brake in time and with proper brake to stop the car so the system doesn't have to take over and brake for me and that shows that the system works the brakes are good in emergency situations and that's the good point for hyundai moving on to the price mm -hmm. that's what you guys are waiting for isn't it pricing starts at 243 million rupiah for the lowest model which is the active with manual transmission and 15 inch alloy wheels and it can go all the way up to 307 million rupiah for the top of the line model the prime with ivt that is the automatic transmission those prices really competes well with other affordable rivals in the MPV segments, let's say from Toyota, Daihatsu, or Mitsubishi. All in all, this car is a decent choice for those who are looking for some kind of Tesla truck looking car without breaking their banks. This car doesn't have the edges, but it does have the futuristic vibes to it. Of course, on practicality, this car is spot on. It can carry all the NCT Dreams member with the sound system blaring all their sound and more than enough storage for their hair products. It checks all the boxes and has everything you want in its price range. Even the Indonesian government thinks so too. So much that they have an installment plan for their civil servants to buy it. I think this car is one you will find up on the MPV market choices here in Indonesia. And it will definitely take on its rivals. Upon reviewing this car, one thing still bugs my mind, the name, Stargazer. Why is it named Stargazer. And after spending some time with this car, I think I can find meaning in that name. Now, bear with me for a while. I think my interpretation of the name Stargazer is Hyundai wanted to convey a message that this car is not just your regular old MPV class vehicle or even just a city car. They want to say that this car can take us further beyond the city limits through a rugged road to a place far away where the sky is blue and clear so we can relax and gaze at the stars escaping our noisy and hectic urban life here in the city that's the name stargazer
you to the owner of this car for lending the car to be reviewed today. And for you guys, I hope you liked the video. And don't forget to comment down below whether you like it, you hate it, you wanna buy it, or you don't want anything to do at all with the car. And as also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that notification button so you won't miss our future videos. And I'll see you in the next videos. It's raining, we gotta get inside. Thank you and bye.